Hello beautiful people and welcome. Today I'm going to show you how I go from this to this as I share with you a long-lasting summer makeup look. There are some easy tips that can help you make your makeup last without it running off your face, without you getting cakey or creasy, but for it to actually stay on your face and look good all day long no matter what activity you might be doing. First things first, your skincare base. This is the most important part of the entire look. I wish I knew this when I first started wearing makeup because it would have totally changed the game for me. When I apply a really good skincare base, the makeup has something to stick to and it lasts all day long. I have a lot of videos here on this channel where I do makeup looks without using powder or setting spray and it freaks people out sometimes. So they're like, why not? Honestly, I attribute it all to a really good skincare base. So if you have a good skincare base, you are a step ahead in the right direction, keeping that makeup on for a long time. The re products you're gonna use for the best skincare base is gonna be a moisturizer, an eye cream and UV protection. Today, all the products that I'm gonna use for my skincare base are gonna be from Shiseido. They're really high quality Japanese brand skincare line. I've been fangirling over them for quite some time and I'm just so happy that they lived up to the hype because oh my goodness, the quality of these products are like no other. You guys know I'm so into skincare. I love trying new things. Always happy to find stuff that works really well and that actually can transform your skin. My skin is also on the more sensitive side so whenever I find a product or a brand that works really well for my skin, I get super excited about it. To start with the skincare base, we need a moisturizer. We're gonna use their moisturizer. This is their Essential Energy Hydrating Cream. It's deep, intense hydration that lasts 24 hours. It supports the skin's natural production of hyaluronic acid, along with strengthening the skin's moisture barrier. Sensitive, skin-friendly, ideal for all skin types, free of mineral oil, and doesn't clog the pores, which also means it's great for acne-prone skin. I love how lightweight it is. It feels really good. It smells really good. Great everyday moisturizer, just to have on hand. Love how fresh my skin feels after I use it. It doesn't feel sticky, it doesn't feel oily, it feels perfectly hydrated. Hydrating your skin before you apply your makeup is so, so important, not only because it allows you, your skin to have a barrier. If you have very oily skin, a lot of the times, if you're hydrating your skin properly, it will cut down on the oil that your skin produces. I have combination skin, so I have parts of my skin that get really oily, especially if I do not have proper hydration. When I make sure to implement this into my skincare base, it changes the game for me. I don't have to worry about oily spots here or here or here whenever I'm wearing my makeup all day long. The next step of the skincare base, I'm gonna use an eye cream. This particular eye cream that I'm using from them is their Wrinkle Smoothing Eye Cream. It is wonderful, creamy, bliss. I love using an eye cream because I truly feel like it helps me not to have those ugly crease lines. If you're having struggles with that, try an eye cream and see how it can change how your makeup looks after. I like to apply just a little bit and I use my ring finger. This eye cream is just, it's like butter. It's so beautiful when you wear it. And I go ahead and apply it up here. It's really going to help keep makeup creasing at bay. Next step of the skincare base is UV protection. We all know how important it is to protect your skin from the sun. I have learned this even more this year being pregnant, my skin has changed and I started having a lot more sunspots. So I've been a lot more diligent at applying and trying out new facial sunscreens that are really good. I'm in love with this one from Shiseido. So this is their clear sunscreen stick in SPF 50. I love it because it goes on clear. So you can put it under your makeup or you can put it over your makeup. They have this wet force heat force technology that creates an invisible and lightweight protective veil that becomes more effective in water, heat, and when exposed to sweat. It's refriendly and I also love the compact design, make it easy for you to put it in your bag on the go. This product is also so incredibly lightweight. It doesn't really feel like sunscreen on your face, which is amazing because I hate feeling like I have sunscreen on my face, especially when I'm about to put on makeup. I actually feel like it gives me a little bit of a glow, so that's always nice. The stick form is just brilliant because it makes it easy and not very messy also, so that it's perfect for on the go. This is my new favorite sunscreen for the summer. I'm so happy I tried this out. You have to try it 100%. It's so worth it. There you have it. There's our skincare base. We are all set to go. Again, the most important part is already done. Everything else should be super easy when accomplishing a long lasting makeup look because you have a good skincare base. Of course, I'm gonna link all those products in the description box below for you guys to check them out yourselves. Really good high quality stuff. I love them. Now let's get into this makeup. Another tip that I found really helpful in applying makeup that lasts long is starting with my eyebrows. I found this out when I did a makeup in reverse video and I actually learned that when I do this, my brows stay on a lot longer than when I apply them after I do foundation. You guys highly requested for me to try this out and I'm gonna try it right now in front of you. This is the Benefit 
precisely my brow pencil. I had been on the search for a long time for a good brow pencil and you guys told me to try this one out. This is a good alternative for the Anastasia Brow Wiz already. I like the brush because we're gonna start with brushing the brows upward. This is in the color 4.5 if you are wondering. I'm already getting the Anastasia Brow Wiz vibes. Doesn't have much of an angle, but, cause I like that about the Anastasia Brow Wiz, but this isn't bad. I do feel like their brow pencil already has a lot more oomph and power. It's not as light as the Anastasia Brow Wiz, which is kind of nice. Definitely going to have to blend this a lot more than Anastasia because of how strong it is, but, mm. I'm already kind of liking it already. The coloring is good. I think this is a good color too. Light strokes to fill this all in and then interchange with the spoolie to help blend that in so there's no harsh lines and it all stays really nice. Light, fluffy, not too much. Definite improvement from where we were starting. I think it's really nice. I think it looks very natural. Thank you guys for recommending this. I'm gonna stick on brand and I'm gonna actually also use their 24-hour brow setter. I have used this before in the past and I really liked it. I just stopped buying it. I can't remember why. This is a really good and powerful brow gel, especially if you have brows like me and you struggle with the makeup staying on. This is just an extra help. And I also like that this brow um, brush that they have here has two separate sides so you can like go in between and really make sure that your brows are nice and fluffy and natural looking and that's what I like to do to interchange and that gel helps them to stick up and look really pretty and natural. Now we're going to go in with foundation. If I'm going to give you a foundation that's gonna last long that's gonna give you the best bang for your buck and you're just really focused on long lasting it's gonna be the NARS long wear foundation this is the natural radiant long wear foundation I'm embarrassed to show you my bottle because it's so dirty and it's so old but it's not expired so we're good I love how it looks on natural looks but I also love how it looks for dramatic looks just gonna use one pump because that's all I need for today and we're just gonna apply this over the skin. I'm in the color Vanwa 2. I think that's how you pronounce it. I'm gonna take my favorite foundation blending brush from Sephora. This is the Sephora 64 brush. And we're just gonna blend this out. Blend so easily and it lasts forever. This stuff sticks on the face like nobody's business. Like it's so good. A dupe for this foundation would be the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation. I think they still have it around, do they? I think so. The quality doesn't match, but it is a dupe. So if you're interested in trying something out that's a little bit cheaper, then go for the Fit Me Maybelline Foundation. Now let's go in with some concealer. This concealer is going to stay on all day long. This is the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. This stuff is, is insane. It will stay on your face, tell you what. I'm in the color 35N Medium. If you want your makeup to stay on, this is the concealer. That is for certain. Applying it to all my normal spots. I gotta clean up these brows. I'm gonna use this flat shader brush from BH Cosmetics. What is on my hand? Hold on. Why do I have red lipstick on my hand? I don't have any red. Oh, Tarte Shape Tape. I got red lipstick on this. Now it's all over my hands. Oops. Back to what I was saying. This is the flat shader brush from BH Cosmetics. I love this brush to help define the brow line. And this is just gonna finish it out because we're kind of looking a little bit messy here. We gotta clean that up. I love Tarte Shape Tape because it's so incredibly creamy, so thick. You don't have to use too much of it because a little goes a long way. I'm gonna take a damp beauty blender and I'm gonna blend my makeup. Shape Tape also really blends nicely. When I started using this concealer, I feel like it really started changing how my makeup started looking. Now that that's nice and blended, we're gonna start with bronzer. I'm gonna use a powder bronzer from Sigma. This is one of my favorite bronzers at the moment. It's their matte bronzer in medium. I'm gonna take my BH Cosmetics 124 brush it's a really great brush for bronzing because it helps you to really get into your contour line. Start with circular motions to define that contour line. My face, 
I find that using a powdered bronzer helps your makeup to stay on longer too because these cream bronzers, although they're really nice and like natural, to me they don't stay on. Just the nose. I don't really like to do any heavy eyeshadows when it comes to a long lasting makeup look. Instead of even using an eyeshadow right now, I'm gonna actually just take the bronzer that I just used and a small brush. This is my 165S brush from MAC. I'm gonna go down underneath here to add some drama to the eyes. I'm gonna take that same brush and we're gonna apply some of that bronzer up top here just for some dimension. It's not a lot. I'm gonna alternate by blending that in with my finger. And I like doing this because it's one less makeup item that you have to have and it's just like easy. But it still adds some drama. It still adds something so you're not like completely bare. Now we're gonna apply blush. I'm gonna use the Pillow Talk Matte Beauty Blush Wand from Charlotte Tilbury. This one has been my favorite at the moment. It is a liquid blush, which I've actually been obsessed with lately because I just find that liquid blushes look so good in the summertime. Squeeze just a little bit. You only need two dots. It's like super potent. Sometimes I'll go crazy and do a little bit more, but today I feel a little bit conservative, so. I'm gonna take my contour blush brush from Sigma. This is the F53 Airbrush. I'm gonna lightly blend this out and go upward. Give me a nice flushed look too. Now let's go in with some highlight. I always like to do highlighter. This highlighter works really well in staying all day on my face. When you first apply it, it's really intense, but then as the day goes along, it just kind of melts into the skin and the makeup and it looks really beautiful. So I really like this one. It's from Giorgio Armani. It's their Fluid Sheer Glow Enhancer. Um, this is in the color two or Fluid Sheer. Is that the color? I don't know, I'm sorry. I'll link it though, so you guys know which one I'm talking about. I'm just gonna do one pump and I'm gonna apply it with my fingers. I'm gonna apply over there. I know it looks intense, but I promise you like, it just really blends out and ends up looking so good all throughout the day. To take my beauty blender too, to blend the rest of this out. And this lasts so long. I'm also not afraid to put it on top of my eyelids just because I think it also looks really pretty there. Finish off this eye makeup look, I'm actually going to use um, this waterproof gel eyeliner from Make Beauty. This is not technically at all a part of it being long lasting or whatever, but I just really like this eyeliner and I really wanted to use it. I've been obsessed with putting lighter color eyeliner in my waterline. Again, not related to long lasting makeup, but uh, I just like how this looks. And lately, it's just been the thing that I've been doing on all my makeup looks. Do some eyelash curler. Voila. Using my favorite L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara. Mascara just makes everything better. I just really love how that bronzer in the eye, even though it's so light, it really makes the eyes look more vibrant. Honestly, we would be good to go right now. Like, this would stay on me all day long, 110%. However, I wanna give the people what they ask for. Here is a powder that you can use to really set this in. I'm obsessed with the Makeup Forever powder. This is their HD Skin Twist and Light Loose Powder. I am not a fan of powders. I just don't like them, but if you're gonna use it, <laughs> this is the one to use. It took me a while to figure out how to use this because this is, let me show you what the bottle looks like. This is what it looks like. You have to twist it on the bottom like this to get to activate the powder. It's so interesting. I could not figure out for the life of me for a while and then I figured it out and I was like, wow. So I'm gonna put this underneath my eyes. I like to define this line again and this line. This is the Makeup Forever 160 Straight and Wavy Brush, by the way, that I'm using. I do love that it doesn't get too messy like most loose powders because of how they've designed that. So good for them, that was brilliant. What I also like about this powder is it's, it's translucent, but like it has a small shimmer to it. So when you're up close and personal, it doesn't look like I just applied like this white powder all over my face. I don't know if you've seen people like that when it just looks bad. This has like a really pretty light finish and it looks iridescent almost. I have been obsessed with it. So if you're gonna use a powder and you have to use a powder, this is the one to use. I almost forgot lips. We need lips. This is my new favorite lip combination right now. And I say that it's a really good lip kit or lip combo for girls that don't like to wear lipstick. Cause I'm not a huge fan of lipstick. I like things natural. I like things just easy. I don't have to reapply throughout the day. Just something simple. I'm gonna use a lip liner in the color Rosy Nude. I'm just gonna apply a little bit 
I've been getting so many compliments on this lip combo. I'm gonna use their Ink Velvet 17 Rosy Nude Lip Color. Interesting little bottle, I've never seen this before, but well, now I have, but it's really interesting. I apply just a little bit to the bottom, to the top, and then I take my fingers and I just blend this out. I feel like this coloring is very close to my natural lip color. Love the matte look. I think it looks really, really pretty. And again, I don't have to worry about it, which is the best thing. So that is it for this long lasting summer makeup look. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know if my tips worked out for you and helping you achieve a long lasting makeup look. If you found this video helpful, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And also don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on any more videos like this. I thank you so much for watching. So grateful to have you and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye.